What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and obviously it's been quite a while since I've updated uh, this deck profile um, obviously we've had a new card now for a while um, obviously the Master of Tower is a new card pretty good, really good and obviously the Fusion's new as well um, I've shown that in my Tri Brigade Chimera deck profile but not actually in just Chimera um, yeah obviously I've got a lot of love for this deck now um, I enjoyed it before anyways because it's They've obviously made an old school card like Gazelle and Berthamet into an actually co competitively viable deck. It's not the best deck, but it's just a fun deck of an old school to hit the people like me in the nostalgia feels. So yeah, really enjoy it. Love it. Um, I can't wait for them to print more stuff. Obviously, they've got the new Illusion card, the Diabell Star one. That's basically a floodgate. Um, obviously, the deck will change quite a lot then. Um, so looking forward to that card. I can't remember when that one's out. I don't know if it's the next set. I think it's like the set after, the main set. But um, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's just get into it. Um, and I'll show you some of the changes um, that I've made. Still like 44 cards. Um, the deck is really consistent anyway, so I don't feel like it matters too much. Um, how many, like, I don't want to obviously go towards 50, but I think it's hitting around like below 40s, mid 40s is absolutely fine. Um, so obviously we're playing three coal. Um, I, hate, I actually hate starting this, starting with this. I'd rather search this with Gazelle and then discard it um, because obviously this deck loses to Droll. Uh, it is quite a, Droll is quite heavy um, impact on this deck. So yeah, I'd actually rather search this but it's a good starter anyways, you want to see your starters. So three coral um, and obviously the graveyard effect that you can banish it to, to negate and destroy something that targets one of your cards. So it's just cards. So um, it doesn't have to be your Chimera monsters. It's just cards whilst obviously you can control um, a Chimera, the flying mythical beast. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, then we've got obviously Mirror Sword Knight. Uh, this is obviously the best one. This is one for the main combo. Um, I'm not, the deck hasn't changed too much, really. Um, I won't go into too much detail what they do, but obviously, quick effect on you can um, send it to the graveyard and then summon a monster that has Chimera Fusion in it, and then oh, it negates a monster on the field. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, three Gazelle. Um, yeah, no more to say, obviously. This is actually sometimes better to open, especially if you've opened the Fiend. So, normal summon it, and then you can add a level five Fiend monster or a Chimera Fusion from your deck to your hand. And then when it's used for Fusion material, you can add an Illusion monster. That's when I like to add um, Cornfield. So I would rather either start with this or Sword Knight, and then add Cottle from this, and then discard it for follow-up. So that's what I would rather do. So those, again for the last ones, obviously we just play the two, Berthamet, Berthamet when it's normal special summoned, you can add one level four beast and or one Chimera Fusion, so it's a plus, like you're adding two cards, which is sick. Um, and then when it go, goes to grave, you can target an illusion monster in your graveyard and summon it. So two of those, and then the new one, so the new one, Master Tao, the Chanter, this actually like, helps a lot you can combo and do a few more things now and this will be really important when the new one comes out because the new monster is an illusion so you can actually send this and then summon that back after you foolished it with the new fusion so if this card battles a monster obviously we all know that illusions can't be destroyed um, if this card is sent to the graveyard you can target one illusion monster in your graveyard except itself special summon it in defense position and then obviously you can't special summon from the graveyard um, for the rest of that turn, except illusion monsters. So if you do this on your opponent's turn, which is highly unlikely, you wouldn't be able to use like your Chimera to summon back your Birth of it or something like that. So um, yeah, so this obviously is really good. Uh, it helps you continue to play. So you can actually use your Sword Knight to fuse twice, send this, and then summon it back. So you can still end with it on the field. Um, and then of course we are playing two Fall of Albers. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but these are actually the collectors from the um, I forgot what, what the Rarity Collection. So really cool that they did that. I'm hoping that in the next Rarity Collection they do some Chimera stuff. That would be so good, like me, because everything's super in the thing. So 
Hopefully they print them in like secrets and stuff like that. That would be, oh, that'd be so good. But I doubt it because they're not really expensive, are they? I suppose Albaz wasn't expensive, so oh, I'm rambling. But yeah, we all know what Albaz does. Um, yeah, I never really normal it, so it's literally just for branded fusion. Um, two edge imp. I don't want to play more. Um, it gives me four fiends, but one of them is searchable, so um, I'm not really too fussed um, about playing too many. And obviously, playing patchwork as well is another way into these. So, but this is really good for resource management adds more stuff to your hand and um yeah so two chain like i said the deck hasn't changed too much um into the hand traps obviously we know this deck plays a hell of a bunch of hand traps so we're obviously playing three cash tier fin red this obviously gives you a body with extra interruptions and then it gives you a card in hand to use for chimera fusion two draw and lockbird this is for cross outs mostly but it is actually really good against a lot of decks i feel this format um so good, good. um three ash blossom through a spring just really generic and obviously we lose to this card so it's good for cross outs and then the last one is imperm again we lose to this card if they imperm on our birth met so um yeah we need to play these as well and um, three of those so obviously quite heavy on the hand traps and then obviously into the spells we have three chimera fusion you want to open it um you do banish it sometimes with your magnum the reliever so um, it is quite important to have and if you open it then you can start doing things in the main phase with your birth met, like dodging imperms and stuff like that if you didn't open cross outs so real good for those one card starter, Brand of Fusion. Obviously activate Brand of Fusion, send Gazelle and Albaz, and then that, that, that makes Rinbrum, and then a Gazelle adds you a Sword Knight or a Cottle, and then you just combo your normal play from there. So three of these, really, really good, really important. Um, yeah. Then obviously the Patchwork stuff, two Patchwork and two Poly. Poly is really, obviously, I don't think this will ever be cuttable. Um, I know it's playing to draw, but this one I don't think this will ever be cuttable because then this makes your Chimera untargetable. So uh, I think that is like, really good sometimes. So good for that. Then obviously Super Poly is an absolutely busted card. Um, recently playing Flame Swordsman, this card destroyed me just because obviously it's a fusion deck, so you can make Dragon Stupelio with any dark and stuff like that. So really good, really cool, and this basically just outs most boards now. So like between Mud Dragon and Garura, you cover probably 90% of decks, and then it's just what do you want to play as well? Dragos of the Pelia, Draco Request for Magnadium, just depends. So this is actually probably the best board breaker. And if you've got space for the like three, four cards that you might need in the extra deck, then it's well worth playing. And obviously we do have that space, so we are playing it. And then lastly, obviously we play a lot of hand traps, so we can get away with playing the three cross outs and the one called boy. Um, if people want to neg themselves even more, that is absolutely fine because obviously if they try to droll us or imperm us or anything like that, then we can cross outs. They've already ripped one card from their hand. We're going to rip another card from their hand. So we're probably going to have, we already have two interactions set up in our graveyard or should do with Cottle and Demira Knight. We've ripped another card from their hand. So they're going to start with four cards. We've got at least two interactions for that, probably a Chimera Fusion as well. So we've got three interactions, they've got four cards, and we'll still have two, three cards in our hand, maybe more. So really, really good, really, really nice. Um, I obviously said in a video before that I've got a regional coming up soon, and I kind of want to play this again, but what's the chances I can be as lucky as I was last regional that I went to? to top again by just ripping everyone's best cards. So, and I would kind of like to play Swordsman in that. So I'm still pondering and thinking there obviously is Red Eyes as well that I would like to maybe play if I can make that better. But um, we'll see as we get closer to the time. I've still got plenty of time, it's in March, so I've got time. So for the extra deck, we've got Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. When this, is, when this is obviously fusion summoned, you get to rip one in the end phase. And then when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to summon a beast fiend or an illusion monster from your grave then we've got the old one and um, this card is just so good like it's so easy now especially now we've got another illusion monster um to just absolutely just go for game and the illusion monster actually helps you more get game um, and that is because of this card so because of this card being chimera the mythical beast as well we can obviously fuse 
two cards into this. This will foolish Tau. Tau will summon another illusion. Now we have Chimera and one illusion. And as long as you have like one or two more illusions in your hand, which you should do if you sent a Gazelle to the graveyard, so because Gazelle's going to add another one. So that is at least two. So this card already has three attacks at 3,100. That is quite a lot. So if you've already got um, one more card, one more illusion, that is game. So really, really cool. Uh, I love this card. Um, really good against so many things. Yeah, I love it. And obviously, this is the new one, the new Berthamet. Um, obviously, it has the same effect as all the others, that it becomes Chimera the Flying Mythical Beast while it's on the field or in the graveyard. And then, obviously, when this is... If this card is fusion summoned, you can send one beast, fiend, or illusion monster from your deck to the graveyard. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished beast, fiend, or illusion monsters uh, and special summon it. So obviously, this can be really good. Uh, I assume they made it because obviously you banish Sword Knight and Cottle from Grave or Field to negate and stuff like that. So you could actually banish it and summon back that. But you also, if you use Chimera's effect to banish, then you'll be able to summon back this Chimera as well, which gives you obviously a name on board. So really good, and that's why this is good as well, because you can actually go into Chimera, then you can use Chimera and Sword Knight to go into this, and then you can send Tau and Tau brings back something else. So this is set up in your grave because it doesn't do anything on field after you've used the effect, and then you'll end with this on field, Chimera Fusion set, um, potentially, um, and then still a Sword Knight on field as well because of Master Tau. So that's what's really cool about that. Um, and then obviously Honorary Chimera card. Um, I just play the one. Um, before, when I was playing like regionals and when I was playing this heavily before, I never really made two. It was very, very rare that I made two. Um, so yeah, I've been trying out just one. The only time it was bad was I played against Kashtira and they banished the only one. So that was the only time it was annoying, but um, Shifter wins that matchup anyways. Then obviously we are playing for the branded stuff. I'm actually playing two Rindbrum, one Belion, and one uh, Mirror Jade. So the reason I'm playing these is because uh, in your normal combo, say, so you go activate activate Branded Fusion, you make the first one. And then, like, because there's a lot of Fire King now, uh, you obviously use the first one. Say they out it, destroy it, this goes to Grave. You have Albaz and this in Grave. You obviously use the effect to summon back and make another one. Because you can't make Mirror Jade against them because... They don't, they don't really go into the extra deck very much, unless they make the XZs, but not a lot of people are really doing that, well, that I've noticed. So then it gives you an extra one to make, um, but then even if you do go into Mirror Jade, then, then you get to make another one. Then you get to send this, and I think this gets you better value because this gives you something in the graveyard um, to use. Like Albion just adds you Brand of Fusion, but then once you've burned through this, what do you make? You have to go to this, and I, I just don't think that's great. And this is just good because you can shuffle it, shuffle things back and make your Chimera Fusions as well. So um, that's why we're playing one of this, but that's more ratio at the moment. Then for the, like the, the Misk ones, so we've got one Magnum the Reliever, obviously sometimes it comes up, it's good, it's good to draw cards, good to pop cards. Um, one Dragus to Pelia, so this is what we could make. Um, send in our other Rindbrum, so we could make a Dragus to Pelia, for example, um, if we're playing against a Fusion deck. Um, and this is obviously a good super poly target as well. Uh, Mud Dragon, good super poly target. And then Garura. Ooh. Then Garura is another really good um, super poly target. So that's it for those. And I think we can all guess what the last two cards are going to be. Um, and that is, of course, SP Little Knight. I understand this is hella expensive, but it is good. And you can make it easily because um, for your follow-up turn. So you don't make this first turn really, um, but your follow-up turn. You're obviously end with a few monsters on board and if you just need to out like a certain thing then you can just do that and then you'll still be able to play because you'll have so many cards in your hand and then or you can make one fun um yeah this could be really good because once you've made your chimera your chimera don't really do anything now so you can actually just go into this and then yeah easy dubs so yeah i understand that especially this is really expensive at the moment but um uh, it's just it's just a good card to have like for, for 
for, for the deck really. So that's it for the deck profile guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, obviously this deck hasn't really changed much. It's only really these cards that have come in um, to be fair and yeah. There will be some, obviously, I will play some different stuff. Um, again, when the new Illusion cards come on, you literally just play that. You just add that into the deck. So I'd, I'd probably just cut one thing. I don't know what I would cut, but you just take one thing out. So Because I like, I don't want to go to 45. I'd rather stay at 44. Um, so we take one thing out, put that in, and then it's just a floodgate. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And uh, hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, we're so close to 1K. Uh, we've got like a hundred or something left to go. Um, yeah, it'd be really nice to hit that soon. That would be cool. Uh, before my birthday, my birthday's in March. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.